Hello, my crafty friends. This is Denise at Crafty Dandy, and today we're gonna make a card. We're gonna make a snowman card. Isn't he cute? I just, I think this is my favorite little snowman. But look at this card. It's kind of like the one we made last week with the whale. But we've got the snowman. This is a center panel easel card. And it's very easy, but it looks pretty impressive, right? Got it just like this. It fits inside a regular standard A2 envelope. And then when they get it, you can, you can put it, your friends can put it up on the shelf on their desk. It just, just makes me smile. There's room up here to write a note, or we can put some Whisper White on the back here, make room for a note. There we go. We have some choices that we can make today too. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I wanted to tell you that the stamp set I used was from Snowman Season, which is in the annual catalog. You might think that it's in the holiday catalog, but it's in the annual catalog on page 63. So let's find that here. 63, there it is. Let it snow, Merry Christmas, hoping this season builds heartwarming memories. It's got the little snowman here. This is my favorite one. Well, you know, two weeks ago, this was my favorite one. But today, this is my favorite one. We, we might also do something with this one too. And it's got the little hat. And it tells you right on here that this coordinates with the snowman builder punch, which is on page 167. And this is that punch, all right? Punches out the stick arms, the hat, the nose, and then the body. And it matches this one right here. So you can stamp this one and punch it out. All right, let's see. What else are we gonna use today? Well, in this card, wanted to show you, do you see this paper? Isn't this beautiful? So this is the front or the back side of the paper and then this is the other side of that same piece of paper. All right, so that is this. This is so pretty, I love it. I saw it in the catalog and I thought, oh yeah, it's okay. Oh, but when it comes, it's beautiful. So it's called Snowfix Snowflake Splendor Designer Series Paper. Snowflake Splendor. Look at these. Wow, and it does tell you on here the colors that it goes along with. Remember, Stampin' Up! doesn't make you guess at anything. So these are the colors, Stampin' Up! colors that it goes with. Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, Pool Party, and Whisper White. And this right here, this is the uh, Pacific Point. I really like that blue. Very nice. So the, the papers in here, they're just, they're really amazing. And they're double-sided and they're full 12 by 12 sheets, which you can cut down to do all sorts of project, projects or leave them 12 by 12, make a scrapbook page. Yeah, Christmas is coming. Can you believe it? All right, well, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with this one right here. Now remember, to make our card base, to make an A2 size card base, you can take a full size, eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and you're just gonna cut it in half. Now you can cut it in half this way and fold it like this, or you can fold it like this, or you can cut it this way and fold it down but for this one, we're using it like this. And then with our trimmer, I've already scored it at four and a quarter. Okay, on the eight and a half side, I scored it at four and a quarter, so that's this line. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here. Let me remind you about the Stampin' Up! trimmer. So cool is that you can score Okay, you can make your fold line with the light colored one, and then this one cuts. 
All right, so we're gonna put the score one down there. So we're gonna go to one and a half, just right there. Now instead of starting at the top and coming down to the score line, because I don't wanna miss and go over the score line, I'm going to start it here at the score line, if I can see around the camera. Sink the blade right there and cut up. Huh, looks like I did pretty well. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to go back to one and a half. Make sure we're tucked up there. And same thing. I'm going to sink the blade at the score line and go up. And there we are. Go ahead and put this away. This is really very simple. Uh, let's see if I can find my things here. All right, so the first thing we're going to need is a Whisper White. And that will be three by four and a quarter. But I actually made it just a smidgen less than four and a quarter, just so it fit in here a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead and stick this down with our stamp and seal. So we need to put this down first. Okay, now someone, one of my friends commented last week, oh, Denise, you make it look so easy. This really is one of those cards that's pretty easy it looks really impressive okay so just just a little hint there so now we're going to glue down the side panels all right so put some there glue that down probably should have made sure we were matched up well there, get our bone folder out. All right, this part that's left, the center, as you can see, we're going to need to fold that. And you could, you could score it, but you know what? It's just as easy to put it on there like that and fold it. Take your bone folder, give it a good rub. So far, so good, right? All right, now we have our side panels. We've got these, and they can go either way. You can do it that way, that way. And the side panels are four by one and a quarter. And all that information will be down below, so don't you worry about that. Four by one and a quarter. And then these pieces, which go here, and we're gonna turn them over, and we're gonna use this side this time. So it's gonna be just the opposite of what we did over here. It's just the other side of the paper. Remember that paper is double-sided, and you're gonna have a hard time deciding which side of the paper you wanna use. All right, these pieces are two and a quarter by one and seven eighths. Now on this one, it doesn't matter which direction it goes, but if, it, if you have a design that it does matter, just be mindful of that. All right, let's go ahead and stick these down. And center it on there. And press it down. out of the way. And there we go. Looking good. Isn't it so exciting as it starts to come together? Oops. You can see. Woo. 
we're off to a good start. Now, one idea I did think of, I thought of doing this card on the Pacific Point. I don't know, what do you think of that? I have a couple, couple more cutouts here. Let me see. Have the designer paper. What do you think? I think we should do this one too. Okay, let me set this aside. We'll come back to that. All right, the next thing we need to do, let me tell you what we're going to use to cut out this and this. All right, so the dies that we're going to use. I've talked about this before, and you're going to think it's strange, but it's called. Hippo and Friends dies. This is also in the annual catalog, but you gotta see these. I have not been in with Stampin' Up! for very long, so I needed to find something that would ha give me a lot of bang for my buck, and I was just thrilled with this. Okay, it goes with a stamp set that has a unicorn, a hippo, a lamb, a butterfly, and a balloon, it's adorable, you can check that out in the annual catalog, but it's also got these layering pieces. This is my absolute favorite. So this is what we're gonna use here. This is what I cut this out. Now this one I stamped in Pacific Point also. You can compare that to the one that's stamped in tuxedo black. See, I couldn't decide, so I just was going back and forth. What do you think? Do you like the Pacific Point better, or do you like the black? So I cut it with that, and then out of the Pacific Point, I cut it with the next size up. So isn't this amazing? So keep in mind the Hippo and Friends die. So I'm just gonna stick that on there, and we'll have that piece. Now for the Merry Christmas, I gotta tell you, the Merry Christmas that's on snowman season, it just didn't fit in. Now I could have done Let It Snow, that would have fit there just fine. The Merry Christmas was a little big. I could have separated it and put Merry above Christmas, but Stampin' Up! has another stamp set called Perfectly Plaid, and it has a Merry Christmas that was the shape I needed it. Now, I haven't played with the rest of this yet, but this is what I'm using, but we'll get to this another week. We have a few weeks before Christmas, don't we? All right, so we're gonna cut it out on that, and that gives us this. I thought I had one that I hadn't darkened the edge. Well, so you can use it for this, and then if you wanted to layer something underneath it, you just go to the next size up. So I gotta tell you, if you don't have any of these layering dies, you should look in into this set. It's called Hippo in Friends, and it's in the annual catalog, not the holiday catalog. So for this, we're gonna put it on here, we're gonna stick it up so it catches this little part here. I, what I did for this part was I used the Pacific Point and one of the daubers and I just did that and then I stamped it off a little bit and just went around the edge. And we can do it as dark as you want. You can do it straight from here. It's, it's all a matter of what you want. There's no right or wrong. And guess what? If you mess up, right? You got it. It's only paper. All right. Put that up there. Let me move this before I stick my elbow in it. Aha, uh -huh, no elbows on the table. Okay. All right, let's see if there's anything else over here I'm supposed to show you. I think we're good. Another thing I tried was cutting it with that same die out of the Pacific Point paper and then stamping it with the tuxedo black. So many decisions. What do you think? What do you think? Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and stick this down. We'll get ready with that one. And kind of line it up on there. 
Isn't he adorable? He's so cute. Okay, now we'll stick this one down. And get our trusty dimensionals. You know, I think I'll go ahead and put this down first. Now remember, when you put this down, you only want to put dimensionals on the bottom there. So here looks like, oh look, it's just a regular card. And then it'll stand up like that. Stay there. doohickeys off the back there. I'm sure those have a name, but I don't know what they are. All right, make sure we're getting it here and kind of straight. There, how's that? All right, now we're going to stick this one down. So what do you think? The Pacific Point on there, or do you like the Tuxedo Black better? Merry Christmas, that's our special wish right there. Now, something else I did on the other was, remember that this punch, punch out the different parts of it. So you can just take some basic black. <laughs> I think that one just went on the floor. Okay, let's try again. Ah, the hat. Sorry, did that shake the camera? Sorry about that. Let me clean up my workspace. Right, so I took the hat and then I stamped the hat on just a piece of Whisper White, cut out the little band. You don't want to see me fussy cut. It is not a pretty sight when I fussy cut. I enjoy it, but it's not a pretty sight. Clean up. All right, and I stuck it on there. So you can put it right in his little hand. So cute. Or not. Or put it, do whatever you want with it. It's your card. Oh, I probably should have had a mini dimensional for this. Oh, just made it. All right, my snowman friend. Let's put this little hat. It looks like he's doing a little song and dance. Oh, if I had a candy cane, I could put the candy cane over here. I need to find that. Hmm. wonder if there's a candy cane around. Well, anyway, wouldn't that be cute? All right. Oh, we forgot one more thing. I have these very special adhesive backed snowflakes. Ooh, let's decorate with this. These were gifted to me, actually a birthday present from my upline, Erica Serwin. Here we go. Got our little, the pokey tool, take your pick tool. We're gonna pick it up with that. And we're gonna put it right there. They're so dainty. And I gotta tell you, I've been accused of a lot of things, but never dainty. So I kind of have big fingers. So this is really very helpful. It really is very hard to, for me to grab it. The little pokey tool does a good job. All right, working odd numbers, one, two, three. Um, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put three down here. That's gonna make it even numbers, but it's gonna be two sets of odd numbers. Okay, these show up a little better on the opposite side of this. Maybe I should have gone down here with it. No, oh, I'll stick with it here. And one more. There we go. There's our Merry Christmas snowman. So there were some other things that we could do. Like I said, we've got 
memento tuxedo black on the Pacific Point, which looks very nice. But in that die set were dies that were shaped like this. Do you remember that? Well, there's that other snowman. Right, let me grab that again. Okay, so there's that guy. He's looking very happy. I think he's singing. All right, and something, that other shape was this one. Look at that. And Calypso Coral, cut that out, a tiny little nose right there. Yeah, those I always shoot across the table too. All right, so I don't know, what do you think? Hmm, decisions, decisions. What should we do? Well, let's move that to the side and we're gonna make it on the Pacific Point. So let's just put this together really, real quick. Um, oh, I really like that on there. You know what, I'm gonna do it this way and I want them all on this side. So here we go. It's to just change a little bit of the color and you just get different ideas and different different cards. It's pretty amazing. So if you take a look at last week's video, it is really the same card, but I made it with the, the whale done or whale of the time suite. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make it all the same. I think this looks better on the Pacific Point. And there we go. Yeah, I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> all right. Looking good, looking good. Let's get our insides put down on here. All right, remember you need to put the white, well, you do what you wanna do, but I found that um, it was better to put the white paper down first before you glue the sides. So here we go. This is Whisper White. Again, all the dimensions will be down below, this one is three by four and a quarter, but smidgen less than four and a quarter. There we go. And now we'll put the side panels down. Make sure, oh, I didn't match that up very well. There we go. It's all right. Can fix it. Just stretch it over and burnish it down. There we go. Oh, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. So I do this. When I'm filming this, it's whew, it's almost almost Halloween really get into Halloween that much but hello Christmas all right um oh another one that I tried look at this and this is stamped with the white ink oh what do you think what do you think I don't know you know I'm gonna go with the white Give it a try. And we'll put it up about there. This is gonna go here. Okay, which one of these are we gonna use? So this one will look like this. Right. 
will look like that. And then it'll go up there. Then this one has this fancy edges. Hmm. I'll have to find my Calypso Coral and give him a nose. All right, we're going to go with this one. Yep, yep, you all convinced me. Isn't that such a unique shape? And look, isn't this a cute little tree? You just gotta love it. All right. There we go. Now I can go, wow, I can go quite a ways with the dimensionals. Whoops. Oh, it's on the back, it's okay. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so let's try this again. I'll put it here so I can put dimensionals up to about there, and it's going to be on this side. An October host code here. Anybody got a few days left in October? Remember, if you're placing an order that's less than $150, go ahead, please, and use that host code. And then, um, but if it's over $150, then don't use the host code, and it'll be like you're hosting your own party. So, and you'll get stampin' rewards. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? That really gets some height to it, doesn't it? But still lays flat. Still goes in a standard envelope. Let me see where my Calypso Coral went. So I can get a nose. He really needs a nose, don't you think? Usually these go flying across the table. Let's see if I can get it to stay here. There's the nose. <laughs> these little scraps. Move these out of the way. Alright. Let's choose your adhesive of choice. I'll just use this to have handy. And that's like way too much. And I don't have my, oh, I do have my silicone mat over there. Okay, I just stuck this to my hand. All right, we're going to put it down on there. His little nose. There we go. Okay. What do you think? Well, I think he needs some snowflakes around him. We're not going to give him a hat because he's already got that little little beanie cap there. Oh, look at the different shades on these. Hmm. Okay. Let's get that on there. I'm going to put... I really like the way it shows up on the Pacific Point. But you know what? It'll be sparkly right there. There. And we're going to put one right there. All right. Did I forget anything? We've got our Merry Christmas there. Now, I forgot to cut it ahead of time, but if you want to write, if you want a larger place to write, you'll want to go ahead and cut a Whisper White for the back of both of these because this would be hard to write on and this would be nearly impossible to write on. Unless you had a white pen. Hmm. Um, if you don't want to write so much, and you know what? Sometimes you don't. You just, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Sometimes you, you just need a short little message. And hey, we're saying Merry Christmas, so what more would you want to say? Here we go. There we go. Now this paper, remember this incredible paper, 
is on sale until the end of October. So you won't want to miss that. And there are lots of choices. I will link all of that down below. I know I say I'll link it really. My husband will link it all down below so that you can see all that. Um, yeah, so I try and do a new card every Tuesday. That's my commitment. And I'm, I'm just so enjoying this. So thanks for coming along with me to do this. I don't know if I tip them, can you see them better? But I just think they're so cute. And it really wasn't that big a deal. Once you make one, it's like zip, zip, zip. You can go right through. But don't they have such personalities? I just think they're adorable. All right, my crafty friends, thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.